quoting the author Jonathan Swift. As the wildest writer has his readers, so the greatest liar has his believers. And it often happens that if a lie be believed for only one hour, it has done its work. Falsehood flies and truth comes limping after it. This government has us believe every February that this country's economy is going great guns. We are the fastest growing, most efficient global player. Everyone is getting employment. We're getting gas cylinders. We're getting electricity. We're getting pakka houses. This falsehood flies for about eight to 10 months and then the truth comes limping after it. And now we are in December and the government says it needs another 3.26 lakh crores of additional funds over and above the budget estimate. The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. Let me use the next few minutes to point out what the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. The manufacturing sector contracted 5.6%. Manufacturing is still the biggest generator of jobs. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the index of industrial production have recorded negative growth rates. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. The Honorable Finance Minister yesterday during question hour mentioned how apparently 50% of FII inflows into emerging markets are coming into India. Wonderful! But her colleague, the Minister of State for External Affairs, just last Friday, in response to a question in this very house, stated that almost 2 lakh people, 1 lakh 83,741 people, renounced their Indian citizenship in the first 10 months of 2022.